Hello there, UTs. Love Fragrance. Coming back to you with another video. I hope you enjoyed my video regarding my trip to Macy's. And it wasn't classified as a shopping spree, but it was like, again, window shopping <laughs> spree. <laughs> I just wanted to get out there and evaluate the merchandise, and I did that. And I hope you enjoyed that video. But I'm coming back to you again with another video of some similarities revolving around merchandise, gift boxes, one of my own individual ones, but however, it was not purchased for me. I purchased it as a gift for someone else. And however, they're not a fan. I'm not going to say they're not a fan of the company, but a lot of the merchandise in it, they weren't too... Um, uh, friendly regarding it in other words they didn't really particularly appreciate it that much and so they decided they weren't gonna waste it and they just requested that I return it however I didn't get around to returning it in a timely manner so I kind of got stuck with it so I wanted to share with you today but I want you to know that a lot of merchandise here does not revolve around fragrances so I'm not gonna go into a clear description of everything in here I'm gonna give you um, a description of what it happens to be but not in depth detail pertaining to it because it's quite a bit in this particular gift box. I'm going to tell you that sometimes you can get a great deal of merchandise inside of a particular gift box set. Well, I just want you to know that's exactly what happened to this one. I think it was attained for someone's birthday. But it was doing uh, I think one of these um, holiday um, holiday discounts where they if they have gift boxes everywhere but it wasn't purchased for me again but they had them on display and I attained it for someone else and I kind of got stuck with it but it's here it's in my possession now I utilize the fragrance but the rest of the merchandise it's just here so I wish I would have taken it back in a timely manner but I think I can find some usage for it but I just haven't had an opportunity to utilize it as efficiently as it should be done. So to give you a clear description, I just want you to understand, well, this right here isn't exactly a fragrance set. This right here is a skincare set. And I'm not deviating from my fragrances, but I'll give you a clear description of what's in it. This right here is Clinique. I hope you can see it. That's a large gift box, isn't it? Yes, it's Clinique. And there's so much, there's so many items located inside of this box. Look, all of this came inside of here. I couldn't figure out how, you know, once you open some of these gift boxes, it's almost impossible to put the merchandise in exactly the manner in which it was arranged originally. But I did my best, but for some reason it's in closing as well as it should but I'm gonna give you an illustration of exactly what's in here okay in this particular box I have there are several things in here that I really 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 love and I really admire and I um, I had to in a way kind of just to them but I want you to know right here this right here happens to be a foaming skin cleanser um, it came in this package. That's the slot that it goes in. It came in here and I have utilized it. I wouldn't say that I fell in love with it because you can see it hasn't been used very much, but I have used like anyways, you, you in this gift box you receive a foaming cleanser. And then we go on to in this gift box you have um the for the skincare products, you have a Facial cleanser, uh, this right here is not a cleanser. This here is a hydration, like um, hydrochloric acid. This here is a hydration acid that you put on your face after you use your filming cleanser. And this right here happens, I mean, let's get to this one first. And this one here happens to be a, a facial scrub. See, these, it isn't in the gift box. They generally give you something similar to a sample I think it's just a sample but I think this could be uh, a body scrub or a facial scrub it doesn't necessarily say but they say it's seven day I don't know if this containers only for seven days 
or you use it for seven days and discontinue it and then come back after seven days. I'm not sure, but I didn't do the research on it. But here it says seven day cleanser. So you can utilize this, I think, on your face and your body as a cleanser. And then we have the um um how do I get to the minute? Then we have the um, clarifying lotion. This right here is like an astringent that you use on your face. I have utilized this pretty much because it's clarifying. It's supposed to remove dark blotches and things like that from your skin. I didn't stick with it enough to determine this is whether or not it was sufficient for my skin. I think you're supposed to use it all the time, every day, every night. I had a skin regimen that I preferred that I utilized frequently, but I tried to incorporate this one into my facial regimen and I liked it, but I don't know why I haven't finished it because I've had it long enough to finish it. So I highly recommend it to you though because it's really some good merchandise. And here we have a body lotion. I haven't touched this at all. This is a body lotion. I have a moisturizing lotion. It's a uh, clinically different, uh, they said dramatically different uh, moisturizing lotion. I think I, and it's hydrating. I might have utilized it maybe once or twice. Mm, maybe, but something like this I probably use all over my body, but it isn't enough for that, so I probably just use it on my hands. I highly recommend this one to you as well. They generally have some pretty decent products. And... This again with the body, this right here is a body butter. A lot of people like the body butter for when they have really, really rusty, crusty arms. And I don't have a problem with that. I don't have rusty, crusty arms. I don't have rusty, crusty feet because I have other merchandise that I use, especially in the wintertime. I have a tendency, my feet have a tendency to get a little dry. And I'm really big into the chemical peels right now, and it takes it all off. So I just want you to know, this here's a body butter, and it's, uh, I think it was like, just, like I said, majority of these are just little samples to give you an indication that you buy the full container. But this one right here, I love this. It smells so nice and elegant because it has a fragrance in it, and it's very pleasant to smell on your body and your hands. I really like this and I really, really recommend this for like uh, um, uh, nightwear. When you get ready to go to bed and everything and lotion yourself really well with this body butter, it is so pleasant and it's very soft and delicate and gives you such a feminine odor to your entire body. But you might want to invest in this, but please, do, if you just decide to invest in this, purchase the largest container because it, it's really worth it. I love it. I use this. I think I use this more frequently than anything. And then we have um, this one right here, which is the Clinique Under Eye Cream. It's an under eye cream. I can't go into it. I'll give you, let you know so how much I've used or if I've used a lot of I'm not really that girl that trusts everything to the eyes. Um, I I have used, utilized it, apparently. I just opened it. Here you go. See, I apparently utilized it. It's definitely an I think it's an eye cream. Either way, I have used it, and I guess in a way, I highly recommend this one to you as well. Clinique has some really nice products, and it's nice when you can acquire everything through a gift box like this, like I did, but it's quite a bit of merchandise to utilize, and you really have to sustain the entire regimen in order to obtain any benefits from utilizing the product. However, as you can see, you have to stick with it. That means sometimes you have to reinvest in it. I haven't completed the samples, so there's been no need to reinvest in it. Apparently, I went back to my original skin regimen, but I'm gonna tell you right here, right now, they have one merchandise that I love, love, love. And this one right here happens to be the Clinique Smart Night. They have a Clinique Smart Night, and they have a Clinique Smart Day. But this here is one of my most favorite products of the entire product line. Clinique Smart Night. 
I'm not saying that you should switch up your perfume regimen for Clinique Smart Night, but I am saying that I highly recommend this product to you because it's hmm, my earring fell off because it's very um I would say it's a very efficient product. It does exactly what it says. It it gives your skin. It says a custom repair moisturizer. It's custom repair. I'm not gonna say. See, I'm I'm. This is one of those products that I love, but I am very 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 modest in the application products. A lot of people don't realize it, but this can be worn in daytime as well. I have utilized it very efficiently in the daytime, but this here is the Clinique's Repair um, Smart Night. Custom Repair Smart Night, but I highly recommend this one to you. This is, out of the whole product line, this is my favorite. And here we have the... This came in the gift box as well, but this right here happens to be like, call it Chubby Cheeks. It's a chubby cheek uh, lip, not a lip balm. People think it's a blue lip balm, but it's not. It's a blush. You can use it for either. It's very diverse. You can use it for a lip balm, or you can use it for a blush. I have been utilizing it as a blush because for some reason it's like a gloss, and gloss doesn't stay on my lips. I need something like a matted lip finish because I'm forever drinking something warm, and so I need a matted product to go on my lips so I need something to stay on glosses. I use glosses at night to keep my lips moisturized but that's the only time I really see the benefit of them. But this is really nice product as well especially for a very young lady that doesn't need a lot of moisturization. And here we are to the last and the final product which happens to be the most uh, efficient product and the most important product in the whole which happens to be and that's it everything's out the box again I put it back in the box just for this demonstration to show you everything okay here we are this is a Clinique fragrance this here happens to be a very light airy fragrance it's called the name of it happens to be Clinique my happy a lot of people aren't familiar with the fact that Clinique sells fragrances, but they do. They have a fairly decent fragrance line, but this right here is from Clinique My Happy, and it's like the Pony Picnic, and um, I love the color of it. I love the design of it, and this right here is a very, very small, I guess it is considered as a sample of the fragrance as a whole itself, but I want you to know that this has more of a floral scent it has a floral with a, like a citric scent to it and it appears to have some white floral but pastel notes it's all pastel everything in here is very pastel very light floral um scents applied notes applied in here and then it has a little twist of um i would say maybe jasmine in it a little twist of jasmine with a little tint of citric in it and it constitutes a very 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 light delicate airy fragrance that's very very delicate it's very delicate but it's mystifying as well in other words you can apply it and you can walk around in it and uh, be assured that you're definitely gonna have some fragrance that's going to be detectable and Oh my God, it also has a sweet scent to it as well. I really love it, but it's unique and it's different from the majority of your fragrances that you might acquire. It might also smell like it might have a little hint of pineapple on the base of it. But the top notes are very prevalent, prevalent which happens to be predominantly the rose petals and your more pastel roses. But it's alluring, and it's very attractive, and it's very sophisticated, and it's very elegant, and it's very uh, delicate for a young lady, and it's very sensitive, not sensitive, but very feminine, okay? It isn't, it's sensitive in a sense, from what I'm saying, sensitive, I mean, is for sensitive skin. In other words, it isn't harsh. It isn't going to be too strong for most women's skin types, 
So it's appropriate for sensitive skin, but it smells very feminine. I think it's a fragrance that you would be very, very, very pleased to have possession of it. And I have gone through my entire content of uh, Clinique products in my gift box there. And this here was the most prominent one that I appreciated the most other than the Smart Night and the uh, Butter Balm. So I just want you to know that just because you receive a gift box doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to uh, be able to utilize everything in there or want everything in there. But it's always nice to have them in your possession. But anyways, I highly recommend this Clinique's My Happy To You. And you should check it out. They have it in a large container. So if you're looking for a nice, pleasant uh, holiday fragrance, this is soft and delicate. And if you're soft and delicate and feminine, this is appropriate for you.